Hey guys, I'm here in the bus this morning. So yesterday I welded in the fender well and I had a pretty good struggle. Made lots of mistakes. Asked for help and advice on what I was doing wrong. I got the help that I needed. But uh, I still wanna show you guys the fender well that I did yesterday. So part of what went wrong yesterday <coughs> was I cut this thing to fit up in there and I cut it so close that I had to like lay on my side and look up underneath. I made it quite difficult to weld. So that was one problem I had. Another problem I had is this paint is so hard to get off. I even took a cutting torch and burned it but I couldn't get it clean enough. And then I had continuous trouble trying to get the metal laid down on the other one. And then another thing I did wrong was I cut these slits. I cut these willy-nilly. So on this side, I cut them too far. It just made extra welding that I didn't really need. So here's the side I got a little bit better job on that. Today, I've come in here, I regrouped myself. I measured out where my slits go and I've cut them. I've got a pre-cut to go in there. I've <coughs> got the paint cleaned off everywhere that I'm going to weld. And I lowered down the lip on this, so this piece of metal is going to be a half inch lower and it'll just be a flat surface to tack in there. And uh, there's the paint being cleaned up there. And then, so this gets welded on here first. And that was the other problem is they get all this wavy metal, but I did follow the instructions and I would weld that in one spot and then pull the other ones down to it. I used that, uh, the flux core welder, you know, without the shielding gas. And it was quite difficult when I had available a shielded gas welder that all I had to do was just roll it over here. So that I can attribute to just, uh, let me see. How about sheer male stupidity, just being too stupid going, I can use my welder, my welder will work fine. No, there was a way better welder for the job right there. So, yeah, hey, uh, this is me saying, hey. And then I also tell you guys, I had, I had my uh, this type safety glasses on yesterday, which I wear these all the time and they work great. I got my, they got magnifiers in them. They're not that much different than the ones Shelly just got. But in the real world, when you're down here grinding upside down and uh, uh, dust and everything's flying everywhere. So to add insult to injury, I got some dust in my eyes and I was like, ah, oh, man, that's not fun. You can wash your eyes out and get the crap out of your eyes. So <clears throat> I had these. <laughs> I think I can, I know I can put a link to these. Uh, anyways, I used these this morning when I cleaned up the other side and I'm like, you know, I mean, they're sealed up so that stuff can't come up underneath. It's uh, this or a face shield. Anyhow, and then if you don't want your ears to ring at night when you get home, you might consider putting some of these on too when you're working inside a bus and everything is really loud and echoing in here. So that's my true confessions. Yeah, this is it. True confessions of a bus converter. How much stupid shit will you do today? Can you admit it? <laughs> I can. So just thought about how that went the other day and I've come in and I've corrected everything that I can think of. And uh, now I'm gonna go ask for some help to get started welding this with the new welder because I don't know how to run it at all. So that's where I'm at.